Meet Porky. Porky's Pickup is Maya Breckenberg's innovative development for removing carcasses. Using Porky's Pickup makes it much easier for you to handle the heavy animal carcasses and makes the work for you and your employees much easier. There is no physical strain. You simply drive Porky's Pickup directly to the animal in the bay. With the push of a button, the animal is pulled onto the vehicle with three electric pickup rollers. Then stand on the running board and drive quickly out of the compartment. Next meet Kuima Compost Turner. Compost is simply organic matter that has been naturally and biologically decomposed. Composting helps divert organic waste from landfills, saving money on tipping fees, while helping to minimize harmful methane gas production. Quality compost is a high-demand product with tremendous profit potential. Compost naturally returns valuable nutrients back into the ground, helping to maximize the quality, water retention and regrowth fertility of the soil. The Turner composter has a high clearance making it more suitable for larger piles. The Turner's hydraulically driven wheel offers more speed and traction. Next is the Asif Hispana breeders. The Spanish Asif breed is a breed considered a variant of the Asif originating in Israel. It was introduced in the 70s in certain areas of the Spanish geography, highlighting its diffusion in communities such as Castilla y Leon, where it was used in crosses by absorption with native breeds, especially the Chura and the Castellana. Since its introduction in Spain, it has been used, mainly, for milk production due to its high milk yields, and for meat production. Meat O'Neill Calf and Sheep Staller Ease of feeding lambing time is the harvest season in the sheep business for most producers. The O'Neill Staller is manufactured to make this job easier. With a stall the ewe can be stalled at trees, which leaves the farmer with two hands free to examine and lamb the ewe, with as little stress as possible on both the farmer and the ewe. With the ewe stalled, it is also a lot easier to get a ewe to foster an orphan lamb or a lamb of her own, which she has rejected, as the ewe can be held stalled and fed and watered in this stalled position. The O'Neill staller is adjustable to any gate indoor or outdoor. A bracket is also available to attach onto the back of any quad, so that all these jobs can be done in the field, generating less stress for the troubled sheep. Sheep docking. Docking is the intentional removal of part of an animal's tail or, sometimes, ears. The term cropping is more commonly used in reference to the cropping of ears, while docking more commonly but not exclusively refers to the tail. The term tailing is also commonly used. The term arises because the living flesh of the tail, from which the animal's tail has grow, commonly is known as the dock. Many breeds of sheep have their tails docked to reduce the buildup of feces which can encourage fly strike. Also used for this purpose is mule easing. Docking also makes it easier to view a grown use udders to detect potential problems. While tail docking is an effective preventive method in some cases, if it is not carried out correctly, it may result in other problems such as ill thrift or rectal prolapse. In lambs, tail docking at the distal end of the caudal falls tends to minimize docking effects on incidents of rectal prolapse. Docking at that length has been recommended by the American Veterinary Medical Association. In the UK the law states that for sheep docked tails should at a minimum cover the anus in male lambs and the vulva in female lambs. These minimum lengths are also recommended in Canada. Depending on the animal and the culture, docking may be done by cutting, knife or other blade, searing, gas or electrically heated searing iron, or constriction methods, i.e. rubbering illustration. The Canadian Veterinary Medical Association indicates that pain, stress, recovery time and complications associated with docking of livestock will be minimized by docking when animals are under one week of age. Next is the Fit Farm Innovation Poultry System. Fit Farm Innovation Team has a comprehensive range of fully automated nests for broiler breeders, layer breeders, and commercial layers for barn or free-range consumer egg production. The galvanized legs supports are fully adjustable to accommodate variable floor levels. The height adjustable screw is from stainless steel. Birds expulsion system with tilting floor. The nest floors which raise up at night to close the nests, keeping the hens out of the nest in order to keep the nest pads cleaner, they open when the lights come on or just before. The chicken harvester machines, by contrast, use different systems to collect and deposit the chickens onto a conveyor belt which then moves and cage them into crates or containers to transfer them to subsequent processing. Chicken harvesters can harvest from 18 up to 26 tons of birds per hour, about 8,000 birds per hour average bird weight 2.5 kilograms. Studies have demonstrated that the use of chicken harvesters may be less stressful to the birds, compared to being hand wrangled by humans. Meet the calf puller. Calving difficulties, called dystocia, are often associated with a large calf or a small birth canal or the position of the calf in the cow. If the calf isn't positioned facing forward with the front feet and head together, it will likely be a difficult calving that will require assistance to pull or reorient the calf. Most calves can be pulled by hand after correcting any abnormality of position, but occasionally a mechanical calf puller is needed. It is important to first determine whether the calf can be safely pulled or if it should be delivered by C-section. 
the puller puts enough force on a leg to pull joints apart or fracture bones. Put one loop above the fetlock joint and a second loop in a half hitch below it for two points of pull, spreading the pressure so it's not all in one place or blood flow may be cut off. Pull slowly and gradually, using lots of lubricant. If you can get the calf's head and front legs into the pelvis without traction and get your hand between the calf's forehead and the cow, the calf can probably be pulled. If the calf's head is hitting the cow's pelvis, it should be delivered by a C-section. Use the rod on the puller as a lever and as a pulley after the calf's head emerges. A common mistake people make with a calf jack is trying to pull a calf that can't be delivered vaginally. The calf is too big or the cow's pelvis too small. Another mistake is working too quickly, which can result in vaginal or uterine lacerations in the cow or injuries to the calf. Next is the sheep electric stunning. There are two types of electric stunning, head only, and cardiac arrest stunning, which stops the heart. Most large plants use cardiac arrest head to back or head to side of body stunning. It produces a still carcass that is safer and easier to bleed. Cardiac arrest stunning requires the use of a restraining device to prevent the animal from falling away from the stunning wand before it receives the complete stun. Cardiac arrest stunning kills the animal by electrocution. Head-only stunning is reversible. Sheep which are stunned with a head-only stunner must be bled within a maximum interval of 30 seconds to prevent them from regaining consciousness. An interval of 10 to 17 seconds is recommended. When cardiac arrest stunning is used, one electrode must be placed on either the forehead or in the hollow behind the ears, and the other electrode is placed on either the back or the side of the body.